Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about vital sex and the topic for this video is when your partner doesn't ejaculate or lose semen. So this one is especially for women. Uh, I've been recording another set of videos right now about uh, ejaculation mastery that were more geared towards men understanding the processes. Now it's really directed to women. What do you do as a woman or how can you be supportive to uh, a man who wants to, uh, you know, to, uh, to preserve his sexual energy and not ejaculate. So the dynamics that we have in society very often is almost like the belief that, um, that when a, a man doesn't ejaculate, he's not satisfied about sex. So that's the first belief that you can really change. Uh, as a man, you can be extremely totally satisfied and not have gone through the traditional ejaculation okay this is the first thing to understand you are not doing anything wrong okay if a guy doesn't ejaculate doesn't lose semen it doesn't mean that sex was bad that's the first thing second thing to understand is that a man can have energy orgasms with, without ejaculation it means that you can enter into an orgasmic trance and have the most incredible sex without the ejaculation that's another aspect to understand. The third aspect to, uh, to understand is that um, the uh, sex usually will be way, way more interesting and better and last way, way longer if your partner is not ejaculating. So it's a very good thing to encourage him, teach him, uh, support him when he's deciding to go that way and be, um, you know, allowing him also to slow down when he's uh, practicing ejaculation mastery. So this, this um, techniques or this mindset that you can practice for yourself as a woman to be supportive in that space are, can radically change the experience. Because if you have a certain agenda, which is to make him come and he's trying to hold back uh, his semen to not ejaculate, then it's going to create a, a certain uh, conflict of interest in the, in the lovemaking. And uh, that's usually not good. So if you're planning on getting pregnant, for instance, or if you are really trapped into the idea or belief that the man has to ejaculate for sex to be good, then uh, of course it's going to create some, some conflicts there. So simply understand this. You don't have to feel guilty because he didn't ejaculate. You can be there totally supportive and allow him to go back into his space once you have a, a sex session or sex play uh, for, for a moment, then you can allow him to simply go into his own space, relax and realize that there is a lot of energy moving throughout his body and his mind and that even though he didn't ejaculate, there is lots of juice inside of him. Okay, I hope you get the message. <laughs> Have fun, I see you soon, bye-bye.